Hi, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I just want to give you a quick overview of how you compare to the local competition in your area, why they're beating you on Google search results, and things you can do to close that gap and overtake them. So I've got your website pulled up here, and what I like is it's really clear and concise, easy to get to these drop-down menus. This deal you got going on really hooks people into wanting to continue to look down the website for content. Uh, when Google is looking at your website to rank it on the list, it uses two factors. One being the content, so the layout of the pictures and the text doesn't really matter. It's just a computer, so it's going to start counting everything. Uh, text is pretty important because Google wants to see about 1,000 to 1,500 words on your page. Right now, you've got somewhere in the neighborhood just over 600. Um, now, obviously, you know more is better, but really, as it's counting the words, it's searching for keywords, which is anything that people frequently type into search, which is usually either uh, the service that you're doing or a location. Now, this is where the number of words on the page really comes in handy because Google only allows one keyword for every 100 to 150 words on the page. Anything more than that is what we call keyword stuffing. So, for instance, if you were just to have a page that did nothing but list services and then list areas, Google wouldn't rank that very high. Now, the second thing that Google is looking for is the authority or the popularity of the page which is basically just other websites that refer back to your site. Uh, for instance, if you had a customer that you did a job for and they were talked to one of their friends and said, you know, you did a really good job on their house, that friend would have a pretty high opinion of you. So then if 10 other people told that same person that you did a really good job, then you'd be really authoritative in that person's eyes, which is the same way that Google works. Now, to show you how this works, I, I just pulled up a search here. It says roofing in Worcester, Mass. And the first thing that's going to come up is what's called the map pack. Now, a lot of people think that this is solely based on the proximity of where I'm searching from, but it actually has a lot more to do with your authority of your website. So, for instance, if I were to, to make a business website at my home address and then go down the street to my neighbor and search for that business, it wouldn't show up in this list just because of its proximity because I have no authority with Google. Uh, the, other, the other reason, the only way that you'll get in this map pack is if you as a business owner fill out your Google My Business profile, which is totally free. I believe now it's actually located right inside the Google Map app. and You can do it right from your smartphone. So then below the map pack is what's called the organic search results. And this is where the higher the authority of your website, the higher you rank on the list. So what I did is I just grabbed the three top results. Uh, you can ignore any of the listing sites like Angie and Yelp. And I put them in this program that I use, which basically just shows you know, the both ranking factors on what Google uses to determine how popular and how authoritative your site is. The first being the keywords. These are all the keywords or the number of keywords that are being found on your page. And then the referring domains is the number of other websites that are referring back to your website. So if we just do a quick view of the numbers on paper, if you go to your competition, you're beating all the competition in all the numbers as far as number of keywords, and a number of referring domains. But this is where your website is a really good example of how quality is a lot more important than quantity. So if we go look into the keyword section, um, Google ranks them based on the volume. So 59,000 people are searching for metal roofing per month. So that's a pretty popular keyword. But as you can see, you're only ranked 15th, whereas you're number one in East Coast Metal Roofing, obviously because it's, it's your business name. Uh, but as we get more popular search results, you want to be higher up with the more popular ones so more people are finding you. Now, also, if we go back to look at the referring part. This is another good example of quality over quantity. You've got more total referring domains back to your website, but if you look at the the ranking of how authoritative these websites are, you've got a lot of low ranking or zero ranking sites that come back to you. So it's got a lot of numbers, but it's not a whole lot of weight behind it. So there's two different types of these referring sites. Um, one is going to be what we call a link or a backlink, which is basically any website that links back to yours, such as like a news article or a site that's reviewing things, kind of like if you was you know, the top 15 roofers in the Worcester area, something to that effect. Uh, the second is what we call a citation, 
which is let's see if I can find one here. Like this is a directory website. Let's see if I can find one for you. It's usually going to be a site like yeah. But here we go. Yellow Pages. So a citation is any time that your name, address, and phone number is listed. Uh, the good news about these for citations is they're free to get. You just need to find all the different sites, take the time to register on them, and then fill them all out. And you can increase some more of them. So, like I said, on paper, it looks like you guys are a lot stronger than your competition. Yet, as you can see, you're not in the, the higher search results. I don't even know what page that I found you guys on. So as you can see that even though you have higher numbers, you're not ranking up there in the search results. So people aren't going to find you because nobody's going to start searching through five and six pages of Google. So I know I just threw a lot of information at you, but I wanted to keep this brief. So if you want to go over anything in more detail or talk about how I can help you boost these numbers and, and beat your competition, I'd be more than happy to. Just give me a call or you can shoot me an email back and with whatever time and day works for you. I can make myself available. Again, I thank you and I appreciate your opportunity.